Uh, I don't know where to go. Seriously, it says go there, the office. Yeah, we. Nope, it's still locked. <sighs> Jesus, I feel like an idiot. I don't know what to say here. Like, honestly, that's one. Uh, that, that's definitely one good thing about this game. It's not necessarily obvious what you should or should not be doing. Uh, I don't know where to investigate. Like, nothing. Um, uh, no, nothing's coming to mind. Like, it should, it should. It should be obvious. But then again, I haven't played in a while. Like, usually I play this game in like two week intervals. But that red screen does look familiar. I don't know where to go. I just don't know where to go. Uh, infirmary, maybe? I don't know. I, I literally don't know where to go. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for being dumb. Maybe in here. I'm literally just picking random rooms at this point. Nope, nothing new in here. Nope. I feel like that's a piece of something. Like that fragment, it definitely looks like it was on the, like, part of a screen or something. Maybe the art room? I don't know. No, it can't be the infirmary. I don't know where to go. Honestly, guys, I am so sorry about this. I am so sorry. Normally, these investigations don't take too- Hold on, I forgot. I could do this. Okay, come on. Come on, I can only do this. Oh, here we go. Let's see if the map... Ah, oh, the gymnasium, really? Well, then I was wrong. Oh, so... See? Looking at stuff helps. Um... If I hadn't looked at the map, that probably would have been bad. Uh... Oh yeah, the sword's gone for a reason, because we took that. What's so important about this place? Oh, Monokuma again? Monokuma's disassembled pieces are scattered over the chip floor, except... As I thought, it's not here. Oh, wow, I'm dumb. I just pulled this thing out of him, what do you think? Oh god, I knew it looked familiar. I'm so dumb. It was the bomb. I'm dumb. <sighs> I'm so sorry, you guys. I am so sorry. <laughs> I feel so dumb right now. That bomb has gone missing. There's no doubt about it. The fragments in the garden were... Uh, I'm so dumb. Okay, so I figured out what was bugging me next. It's Kirigiri's bedroom. I should go back to the garden and ask Togami again. I am so dumb. I am the dumbest person ever. Clearly, I am dumb. I should have thought of that. I am so dumb. I am so sorry, everyone. And by the way, I'm gonna use I'm gonna be using this teleport function from now on. Okay, let's talk to Tagami. Hey Tagami, are you about ready? Kitty Gitty's room? Let's go. H hey wait, Tagami! I ran to catch up with Tagami and we both hurried to the dormitory. We Kirigiri's room, which is right next to mine. Yay! Talk to Tagami. I'm opening the door now. Tagami removed Kirigiri's key from his pocket and inserted it into a door. Click. There. Uh, uh, thanks. Into the room. Ah. As expected, there's nothing different in here. So this is Kirigiri's room, huh? Exactly identical to all the rest of the rooms. Except she has no embellishments. Mm, everyone else does. This is... There's something at the top of the table. A wooden plate. What's that used for? I think it's probably a key. You know, like keys used for those lockers at public baths. It looks like... Looks like... Just like... Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, guys. It looks just like one of those. Hell if I know. I've never been to a public bath. Sounds about right. Tukabi probably can't even envision what a public bath would look like. So it's a key, huh? That reminds me. I might have seen something like that before. Oh, where? As I recall... Ah, oh, yes. The dojo. I recall seeing something similar to these in there. Alright, the dojo. 
Okay. So I'm guessing we're gonna investigate the dojo now. Okay. Anything else to investigate in here? Other than the fact that it's Kitty Giddy's room? Let's go. Oh, Yvay, there's still work to do. What? Do I talk to you now? What exactly are you hoping to find by investigating this room? I didn't have anything specific in mind. I just thought there might be something useful. Something that might help me understand Kitty Giddy better. Don't tell me that's the re only reason you dragged me along on this little trip. Suck. There's not, not enough time in the world to produce useful results we don't have an objective. Don't you have anything more concrete? Anything that all that tells us, you tells you what that it is, is uh, da, 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 what it is that needs doing. Something more concrete? Ah, now that you mention it, can you get a reach in your breast pocket and hand it to me? Hmm, what's this? Perhaps we can call it a, a declaration of my intent. Don't open it now. Only open it. Just something happened to me. I'm pretty sure I put it in my pocket. There it is. What is that envelope? Kitty Kitty gave it to me, says she said to open it should something happen to her. Then open it. Something has indeed happened to her. Okay. I lifted the envelope's flap and carefully removed its contents. There was a single sheet of scrap paper. Under the sheets? Was there nothing else in the envelope? Nope, that's it. Under the sheets? Does that mean there's something there? Yay! Maybe she wants me under the sheets. Oh! Is there something hidden beneath these sheets? I only ex half expected to find anything. I lifted the sheets up and... What's this? I found a single crumpled sheet of paper. <gasps> oh, it's a file on Miku Makuro Ikusaba. Kibogabane Academy 78th Class Student Register. Mikuro Ikus Mukuro Ikusaba. That looks like to be Mukuro Ikusaba's student profile. So it does. I'm guessing Kirigiri stole this along with the key when she snuck into the headmaster's office. Fine, I'll tell you what this trip, it was a total waste. A key and a blankety blankety blank. There, oh yeah, there was a flashback. A blankety blankety blank Monoko mentioned has to be this. This is what Kitty oops, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is what Kitty left behind, so her death wouldn't be in vain. If she died. This isn't the time to be getting emotional. Hurry up and read it. Alright. I collected myself and looked back down at Mokuro Ikusaba's profile. Name Mukuro Ikosaba. Sex female. Title Super Duper High School Mercenary. Mukuro Ikosaba, slender build, bellies her as a combat specialist, highly skilled in a wide range of weaponry. Fostering an intense interest in the military from a young age, it eventually became her whole world. While in military school, Mukuro Ikosaba took the championship at an international airsoft tournament, gaining recognition and making her the subject of articles in numerous modern military publications. However, just before she entered the middle school, Mukuro Ikosaba went missing during her family trip to Europe. The inv investigation into her disappearance, which was being treated as a kidnapping, made little progress, and drew considerable media attention. In the end, she was never found. Three years later, however, Mukuro Ikosaba suddenly returned to Japan, alone. She confessed to having spent the previous three years enlisted as a member of the Fenrir Mercenary Corps. She said she had not been kidnapped, but that she left of her own volition to be trained as a mercenary. Despite that, it still remains unclear as to why she suddenly decided to return to Japan. Ooh, okay. Nice. Mercenary, is this war warfare that... It looks like she's from another dimension, and not just the world she lives in or how she was raised, but more like fiction and non-fiction. There's no point even trying to compare them. That's how far apart our dimensions are. That's what I had... That's what... Uh, that was the impression I had as an ordinary everyday citizen, but... I never thought I'd hear the name Fenrir in a place like this. Huh? You've heard of them? The Fenrir Mercenary Corps is a deranged organization of warriors for hire. Although they do offer some rather useful services, it wouldn't hurt you to remember their name. Nah, I think I'm good. This is obviously all. This is obviously way out of my league. However, there is something that's bugging me. I re I recall reading rumors that Fenrir had already. <gasps> I spy with my little eye, a sub-character-esque protagonist, and a, and a protagonist-ish sub-character, Monokuma. Well now, what do you guys have there? Ay ay ay, you saw the profile. And, what are you gonna do about it? No need to act like you've got, got a snake in your boots. I don't have any intention of condemning you guys. Nor am I gonna get all over you cowardly Kiryu's case for stealing it either. To be honest, in theory isn't against the rules. But I can't forgive Ugami who broke the Suho rules by destroying the headmaster office's lock. Maybe I should drag her out her body, hack it up, eat it, 
bears are omnivorous after all. You must be pretty particular about the rules if you consider a violation unforgivable. You got that right. The school rules are the grease that keeps the academy running smoothly. Uh, so as the headmaster, it's my obligation to uphold the rules. You uphold the rules, huh? Does that mean the rules apply to you, too? Yes, sir. I don't want to deal with you guys getting your pennies in a bunch about things being unfair. And while we're talking about particulars, I've got some juicy information for you guys. Information. It's about the, who the rules apply to, to put it another way. It's about the participants in the academic coliseum. Up till now, I don't think I've told you exactly how many participants there are. So I think it's about time I cleared things up. When you guys gathered in the entrance hall, there were only 15 of you there, right? So I'm guessing that caused a pretty big misunderstanding for you guys. By misunderstanding you mean, yep, there aren't 15, but a total of 16 high school students participating in the academic coliseum. 16, then... Yeah, she was right. Yep, yep, yep. The 16th student, Mukuro Ikusama, is also a participant, which means the rules also apply to her. Why? Yes, did you say something? Why would you go over your, uh, out of your way to tell us that specifically? Ah, uh, well, you see, as I said before, the academic call seeing is being broadcast live to despairingly rave reviews. With so many people watching, it's, nece nece uh, it's necessary to be completely transparent about the rules. I mean, it's a big pain to have. I had to tell, deal with a storm of complaints and hate mail le later, wouldn't it? So that's why I told you. Well, that's all the hints you're getting from me. But as retribution, I will tell you one other thing. Retribution. Tit tat, cowardly Kirigiri's tit for Monokuma tat. Monokuma's Mukuro Yukosaba's profile for Kirigiri's profile. Kirigiri's profile? You know how she wears those obnoxious gloves day in and day out? Just between you and me, she wears them to hide markings on both of her hands that she doesn't want people to see. What? Uh, that's all you guys are getting from me. You can see you guys again at the class trial. Don't tell me the investigation's over already. Hmm. Markings on both of her hands that Kitty Giddy doesn't want people to see. Could he possibly be talking about that tattoo? But wait, Mukuna, Monokuma said something she didn't want people to see, which is to say she's wearing gloves to hide her hands. But if that's the case, what about those fake nails? Are you thinking about Kitty Giddy again, huh? Now is not the time for that. First, we need to carefully consider Monokuma's trap. Monokuma's trap? You feeble-mindedness can only be punishment from God. <laughs> Think carefully about what Monokuma just said. There are 16 students here in the academy. In other words, Mukuro Yukosaba counts as a student. To make it even easier for you, Monokuma was trying to say that the school rules apply to Mukuro Yukosaba. The question- oh my gosh. The question is why would Monokuma come out and say that at this particular time? He said it was so there, it wouldn't- it was so there wouldn't be any complaints afterwards about the rules not being clear. Turning that around means that Mukuro Ikosaba is connected to this case, and because of that... <laughs> Excuse me. And because of that, in the interest of fairness, Monokuma revealed the ex existence of a 16th student in advance of the class trial. Mukuro Ikosaba is involved in this case. It's possible Mukuro Ikosaba is the culprit in Kyoko Kirigiri's murder. What? If you assume Mukuro Yukosaba is the culprit, it makes sense that a class trial would be held, because that question, because that means the murder was, without question, committed among the students. The culprit is Mukuro Yukosaba. She killed Kirigiri. Of course, anyone with a working brain could figure that much out. In fact, that's what I believe to be the cla to be the case when Monokuma announced the trial. But what Monokuma just said maybe changed my mind. Mukuro Yukosaba is not the culprit, huh? Why not? Mukuro Yukosaba, the super duper high school despair, is possibly the Puppet Master's true identity. Given that, doesn't it strike you as odd? Why would the Puppet Master go out of her way to reveal information disadvantageous to her? Now that you mention it, that makes sense. On the other hand, her saying that to intentionally make Mukuri Kusaba look suspicious, that exactly the opposite means exactly the opposite that she is not the culprit. Which is why you said it was a trap. A trap designed to make us draw an incorrect conclusion. That's one possible interpretation. The more I think about it, the more likely it seems, but then if, 16, if the 16th suit, Mukuro Ikusama, is the culprit, who is? Isn't the culprit, my bad. It would seem- oh my god, my frame rate. It would seem as though we've completed our business in this room. Let's go to our next location. The dojo, right. We need to figure out what wood, the wooden key opens. Let's go.